Alrighty guys, it's Amit here and welcome back to DevDreamer. So then, in this lesson, we can finally move on and start looking at those different elements we can put onto our web page. So up until this point then, we've looked at all the sort of background information of uh, HTML, we've looked at what HTML actually is, we've looked at the basic document structure of a file, we've also looked at elements and attributes as well. So now, let's move on and look at our first element. Now the first one we're going to look at is one you've seen me use a few times already, and that is the paragraph element. And this is basically used to put text onto the screen. Now, just a quick note here. Although it's called a paragraph element, it, that doesn't necessarily mean you need to always use it for, uh, for a paragraph. You can just use it for sentences or even just single words, if you like. So the way that we put it onto the screen is very simple. We do opening paragraph tag and closing paragraph tag. And I'm just going to put some dummy text into here for now, like so. And there we have it. We have our paragraph tag. Now, what happens if we want to include a second paragraph here a few spaces down? You might think you can just come into your text editor and just do a few spaces and then add a second one here. Hmm, that hasn't actually worked. We can see that in our text editor it looks fine, we've got a space there, but in the browser window it's just showing all together. But what's happened here? Well, the reason for this is because HTML is white space insensitive, and that basically means it ignores spaces. So you can put as many as you like here. And as you can see, it hasn't made a bit of difference here. So then, how do we include a second paragraph? Well, if you want two paragraphs, we need two paragraph elements. So this first one here, then let's close this out with a closing paragraph tag. And the second one, let's include an opening paragraph tag, like so. And there you go, now we have two perfect paragraphs. So this then leads me nicely on to the second element we want to look at, and that is the break tag. Now the break tag is basically used to actually pull things down onto a new line. So again, we can't just simply go into here and put some spaces in, because remember, HTML is white space insensitive, so that's not going to work. So what we do then is we use a break tag. The way that we write the break tag is simply an open tag, and then BR, and then a closing tag. Okay. Now this is one of those self-enclosing tags. Remember we spoke about that um, in a couple of videos back when we were looking at the meta tag, so I'll show you that again in the head section. We had a uh, meta, and we didn't have a closing meta tag here because this was self-enclosing. So it's the same thing with, with, the, uh, with the break tag. This is one of those self-enclosing tags. Now, what has it actually done in our browser? Well, we can actually see now that this sentence starts now on a new line. So if we just get rid of this, just keep your eye on uh, these words here, so in and this word here. Let's just delete this. And as you can see now, it's over here, right? So including a break tag will actually pull element down onto a new line. If you put another one in here, it will actually put it down onto a second line again, like so. Okay, so that's quite handy. Now, the next element we're going to look at is something called um, the heading tags. Okay, now headings are also very useful. So along with the paragraph tag, it's probably going to be your most used um, text element. And headings are basically used for um, titles. So let's just move down. And actually, I'm, I'm, let me quickly show you another one here as well. Another self-enclosing tag, which is the horizontal rule. So that's open tag, HR, and then a closing tag. And as you can see, it's just separated our content. Um, and sites such as Amazon will use this as well, or even eBay. So when you look at the uh, list of items, you could do a search, list of items, they'll be sort of separated with a horizontal uh, rule. And this just breaks up the page nicely and shows different sections. Now, let's look at the heading tags. So. The heading tags, as I said, are basically used for titles, and they range from H1 to H6. So let's see what they look like. So we'll do a H1 tag. I'll say this is a H1 tag. Now, as you can see, this is a lot bigger than our paragraph text, and that's because this H1 tag, as I said, is used for titles. Now, the H1 tag specifically is used for uh, main titles, so you can say if you had an article, you'd use the h1 tag as your main article title and then within the article you might have some sort of subtitles well we can use h2 tags for those so i can say this is a h2 tag rather title actually sounds would actually make more sense so let's get rid of that and put the title in so as you can see then the h2 tag or h2 title is actually smaller slightly smaller than the h1 and i'm sure you've guessed it by now if you look at the other ones, changes to h3, h4. These are going to be smaller still, so they get smaller and smaller. And in all honesty, you know, I've never really used a h4, 
H5 or H6 tag. Um, it's quite rare to use H3 um, as well, but let's just go through those as well. So this one's going to be H5. So opening H5 tag, closing H5 tag, and finally opening H6 tag and closing H6 tag like this. Okay. So as you can see, they get smaller and smaller. So let's just use this in an example then. So let's get rid of um, all these. Right, let's just get rid of those there. And let's change this to, um, let's just say the main article title. Title. Um, and then go down and let's do a paragraph tag. Um, and let's just put some norm ips in, in here again. Okay. And then we can have our h2 and for h2 we can say dummy text again and we can say this come on I can't type j I don't know why this um, is a sub title okay so as you can see then we have our main title here which is a h1 tag and then we have a sort of subtitle here which is a h2 tag and we've used our paragraph element to actually include the article text okay guys so i hope that was useful let's just do a quick recap of what we've learned in this lesson so we looked at the paragraph element and we said that if you want to include more than one paragraph onto your web page you need to have more than one paragraph element within your actual text editor because it's white space insensitive so you put all these spaces in and it doesn't make a difference at all okay the second thing we looked at was the uh, the break tag and that was used to actually pull things down onto a new line so again that was just br okay so the opening and closing uh, brackets around it um, and we also looked at the horizontal rule which basically separates the page up into different sort of sections and finally we looked at the um, heading tags so we had the h1 to h6 tags and we looked at how we can actually use these in writing articles. So the H1 tag will be your sort of main title, um, and the H2 tag will be the sort of subtitles within the article. Okay, guys, so that's it for this video. And of course, guys, if you found this video useful, then please hit that like and subscribe button. It really, really does help me out. And I'll see you on the next one.